Hey, thanks for clicking down this video. Um, this is a sort of debrief of a shoot I've just done at the Oxford Bus Company. This is the first sort of one I've done. And the idea is gonna be that after each um, sort of shoot or session I do, or I'm documenting a place, be that the Oxford Bus Company as this is, or say the Oxford Railway Station or somewhere else, I'm gonna do a debrief in Lightroom, uh, mostly for myself, but I'm also gonna record it and stick it on YouTube because you guys might find it interesting. Uh, if you do find it interesting, just let me know in the comments. Um, and if you think I should be doing more or less than anything, that'd be great too. So uh, your feedback is very useful. So um, this is visit number eight or nine to the Octobus Company. Um, I've been going for a while now. And I'm just slowly fitting in, you know, getting used to the people and talking and finding out more about how the company operates, that sort of thing. So, um, so yeah, so this is outside um, and then just sort of wandering and getting used to the camera again, you know, a lot, a lot of initial shots are sort of um, just things going on and, and then sort of getting into the habit of shooting again. This bloke was running to his car, I think he probably had left something in there and he had to jump on a bus in a minute. Um, so every every other day, um, one of these tankers turns up and it fills their two, um, two tankers full of diesel, which is what they use throughout the day in their 160 odd buses. Um, this is in the maintenance sort of engineering department um, this bloke's called David I had a chat with him about sort of the, the, the company and what he thinks of it how long he's worked for um, so you can see the wheels are off but just these sort of shots and there's a lot of um, what you can't really see here in this shot is that over here is the entrance to the to the garage so facing of the, the the doors if you like to my right I get this nice soft light in at the moment I face the other way, I get this very harsh, especially sort of at this time. This was this is still, you know, quite early in the morning, 8 30. Um, but it's very strong light through the garage doors, which you can just see him seeing him in the back there. Um, do a lot of cleaning here. And then this, this actually gives you an idea of where the buses come in. The tank is leaving. Again, the other side, the, these are these hoists, although they've got the wheels on here, um, they're actually for lifting the buses up. So, once the buses get lifted up, they um, get put on an actual stand. Um, here, they're just doing some checks. I think it's probably bolt checking before a MOT. And this is a jump battery. And these are just some pictures I took of some old pictures on the wall. You get to it's a W Reg bus, it's a pretty old photograph. Um, and then I went in to see this guy called Phil Griffins. Didn't take any pictures in there, wasn't allowed, um, but it's the it's the CCTV room for all of the buses. A really interesting chat about um, like what happens with the recordings, how they use them, why they have them, what it means, how they help things like the police, um, things that want nothing to do with the bus company. Um, you know, the, the police will ask them, you know, do you have recordings of this event, that type of thing, and they'll I do their best to assist where possible. Um, very interesting chap and really interesting sort of um, group and, and what goes on inside there. Um, hopefully I'll do some portraits there at some point, but but the room is a, um, obviously it's got a lot of confidential, or not confidential, but it uh, goes into the realms of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like data protection acts, you've got who's getting on the bus, the conversations with the driver, that, that side of things. Um, so yeah, these are the rest of the ones around. Just these are just quick snaps just to get his record overexposed in that picture. Um, this is one of the entrances to the building. These aren't particularly great so far. The pictures. Um, so this is in the operations room. So quite quite grainy here. This is what I say. Eight um, thousand. I think I'm pretty sure I dropped that consciously later on, knowing that I'd be a bit too high. Um, for what I'm after, but this is basically like the nerve centre, if you like, of, of the bus company and where um, buses get rerouted depending on what's been going on. If a bus breaks down, these are the guys that sort it out, and make sure the passengers get to where they're going. So actually here, I've now dropped the drop the ISO by both dropping the shutter speed and dropping the aperture, and then the ISO followed suit. Um, so again, this is operations. Here I was trying to see what I could do with getting everyone in the window, um, as well as this gentleman here and the work he was doing, but I didn't didn't quite really make it stick. Um, well, 
that's close. That's not too bad. This is the first time I've looked through the pictures, by the way. Um, so you can see it's on this radio talking to various buses around the city. The social media people come in and ask, um, you know, where is this bus? What status is it at? Um, you know, when people sort of tweet in and say, where's this? And all oh, this bus is running late. And they might say, well, it's because of road work on this road and it's, it should be there in two minutes or something, that, that sort of thing. This is the board. It tells you where all the buses are, where they are, what routes they're on, um, that side of things. So I hung around in here and this gentleman, Klaus, he gave me a big explanation of all of the systems that they have available to assist assist their roles, which is mostly involves sort of traffic and looking at when their buses are, where they are, and where their buses are on the maps. So they can see GPS positions of them um, and looking around the country and what the roads are like to sort of make decisions, but, you know, sometimes even before buses have rung in to say they're stuck in traffic, they'll say, well, you know, this route is going to be clear, can you do this instead? And just to keep keep the system flowing. It's a lot going on that, you know, when you're on the bus, you just don't tend to think about. Um, and, and Klaus actually also does um, on site, so it sits in the centre of Oxford and makes sure everything's running smoothly there, it's sort of on hand, um, like as an operations point of view. So I'm going to um, go and follow him around at some point, um, some evening see what goes on there as well as what goes on in this room. Lots of conversations about what buses to manage and what ones need to be taken out of service um, for maintenance or when maintenance can be done. They also get to see CCTV um, which is similar to what I saw in the previous room and um, they use that to look at what buses are still there when they should be out and it, you know, it's just another quick visual information that's very useful to them. We don't have a bit, bit more depth of field here, it's only F 5.6, feels like I've not quite got it all in. That almost looks too sharp in comparison to this gentleman and then especially this one over here on the left, it's all a bit out of focus, not the best. Maintenance guys come in and just check, check what buses are out, so then they know um, what work needs to be done on them and when. So here he's he's on the walkie-talkie, talking to a certain bus, telling them what route to do and where to go next. And um, this is after they had to have some work quickly done on the bus. So another bus was sent out to finish off that specific route and then he's telling them where to go next and where to start, you know, to, to catch back up and get back in uh, onto the schedule. It's a very busy, busy place. Telephones ringing all the time, different telephones ringing, the buzzers going off, the walkie-talkie system uh, or CB coming in all the time. You know, bits are being moved around all the time, buses are being taken and out of service. It's it's a lot going on and there's always people coming in and out asking, you know, is my bus ready? When's my bus ready? What bus should I be taking? I was meant to be taking number 48, but now you're taking 47. And, and there's really, you know, there's a lot going on in there. Really great for them to explain to me what was going on. So here Klaus is telling them about a bus that's out, just uh, quickly filling in another one to the person who's then taking him over for the rest of the day. And that's that's the end of the picture. So I took uh, 153 today, and that was...
about 11 o'clock. I had a meeting as well with the head of marketing about getting some prints put up, but I was there for um, maybe three hours, which is good. We're going to go back again tomorrow um, with some prints to put up and like a little area so people can see what work and what work's going on. And I'll uh, do another video then. So um, cheers for watching. Hope it hasn't been too boring. And please do let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Cheers.